everyone, it's Kay. Welcome to a guide for my Inferno Skitter Bots or Cartists. The build is very easy to play, has good clear speed, decent survivability, and low to medium cost. It works well in mapping, heist, blight, and delve. But the main weakness is bossing damage. The main focus of the build is linking Skitterbots to Infernal Legion to turn them into high-speed Righteous Fire minions. They also proc Profane Bloom because they carry Curse Auras with them. So the Skitterbots can even run ahead of you and clear monsters off-screen. Now for an overview of the gear. In general, you want as much energy shield as possible on the rare items. And you can craft them yourself with dense fossil or essence of war. For the helmet, you need forbidden charcoal with infernal legion. This helmet gives much more base damage than the gem. Start with the best charcoal you can afford and save up for the level 35. The gems are Skitterbots, Minion Damage, Burning Damage, and Elemental Focus. The body armor is for 6 thinking fire trap to help kill map bosses. For the increases, I recommend curse effect and increase energy shield. The gems are fire trap, swift affliction, inspiration, control distraction, elemental focus, and a concentrated effect. In my gloves, I have scorching ray totems to apply fire exposure. For the implicit, I recommend minion damage. The gems are Scorching Ray, Faster Casting, Spell Totem, and Multiple Totems. For these boots, I use Dense and Shattering Fossils on an I-86 base. For the implicit, I recommend Movement Speed or Action Speed. And Benchcraft reduce to effect. The gems are Flammability, Increase Area of Effect, Blasphemy, and a level 1 phase run with 20% quality. This gives the speed boost without needing a lot of dexterity. Infernal Legion scales with increased damage, so you just need Essence of Fear to make the wand. And to boost the Skitterbot's movement speed, I'm using Flesh of Friend Link to Inspiration and level 1 Desecrate. For the shield, you don't need Shaper Influence. I just had this left over from another craft. The gems are Convocation linked to cast when damage taken to teleport my Skitterbots to me when I get hit. And unlinked Flame Dash for movement. The amulet is a flammability in presence for the free cast aura and it's anointed with sanctity. Both wings are profane proxy, socket it with elemental weakness and despair. The belt is a crystal belt to get as much energy shield as possible. You don't need aspect of the spider. Lastly, I'm using my flasks to reduce damage taken and remove ailments. Next is the passive tree for the build. Damage comes from the class jaws, so most of the passive points are used to get energy shield. The three keystones are Zealot's Oath, Wicked Word, and Chaos Integration. There are three masteries, which are Minion Area of Effect, Extra Energy Shield, and Energy Shield Region. For the clusters, both large jaws have 12 points. 25% increase effect, and no notables. And the small jewels have 3 points and energy from not. All the cluster jewels can be self-crafted with the old regal method. And this jewel should be energy from within. The ascendancies are malediction for the extra cars, profane bloom for the pops, void beacon for debuffs, and a Vow Bastion for Stun Immunity and Energy Shield Regeneration. 
pantheons are the usual blanking for freezing chill and obvious for burning ground. Overall, the Inferno Skitabots Occultist is a good build for non-juiced mapping, heist, blight, and delve. It's very easy to play because the Skitabots zoom around, burning and exploding everything. It's not too expensive and most items can be made with simple fossil crafting. But the big weakness is bossing DPS. As always, a big thank you to my lovely patrons for your support. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, bye!